Hello fellow humans and today we're going to be going through my travel vlog of me visiting Phillip Island and now this is very similar to my last travel video which was to the Mornington Peninsula and that is because geographically these locations are situated very close to each other but regardless I hope that you enjoy coming along this journey with me because I still took part in a variety of different activities and also because I just had a lot of fun on this trip. Australia we have a lot of these signs particularly on highways and they always have like really grim dire warnings usually it's kind of like drinking and driving they're better apart and other stuff like that and sometimes it gets really grim but it's just a really stereotypically Australian thing well I think it's an Australian thing it's at least a Victorian thing but I'm pretty sure it's all over Australia And now, this sunset was the most magical thing that I have seen in the past two years and honestly this camera cannot pick up how beautiful it was. So day two we went to a place called Amazing Things and basically there is a maze there, yes, and there's also a lot of like amazing cool tricks and I'm going to show you some parts of it but I don't want to spoil the entire magic of the place so I'm not going to show you actual full clips but just a little sprinkle of the magic that you can find there. There was also like a mirror maze there and this was honestly one of the coolest bits about it. It was so trippy and with the red lights it was just like insane and I was like crashing into people and because I was like trying to guide the people around me I was like oh yeah this is the way to go. I would like crash into a mirror reaching out for a person. It was really hilarious. <laughs>
Next stop, we went bowling, but al along with the bowling area, they had like an arcade and it was a really interesting place. And we also sat there and had like chips and stuff. But our main activities there were bowling and laser tag. And that is so much fun with a large group of people. And it's been, I think, probably a decade since I've played laser tag with that many people. Now, while I was really bad at bowling, I did get in like three shots of which I knocked down like eight of the things. And this is one of my shots. And I'm not the greatest player out there, but I think for literally almost my first time trying, I wasn't awful. just randomly some fireworks on a random November Saturday night. I don't know what that was about, but it was interesting. The next day we went to a chocolate factory and now they had their own, they do produce their own chocolates here which I thought was really cool and we also got a little glimpse into their process.
We were also able to make our own shape of the chocolate and this was mine. I did try making an A at first but I wasn't able to make like a point so this is what I just made. <laughs> This was Churchill Island where there was an 1862 house which we could go inside and visit even though it was kind of taped off and there was also a lot of animals there. Was really into patting the main rooster there and he actually like calmed down whenever my dad patted him but this is me trying to pat the rooster and I suck at it and this is a goat posing for me Rooster also like cock a doodle dude a lot during the time we were there and I did catch one time on camera
really show this in my videos, but I think that it's important to note that there is a lot of road work in Melbourne and it does usually infuriate us, but also Melbourne is growing. It's growing every day and it has grown so much over the past 20 years and this road work is really necessary to accommodate this growing population, even though it can be really annoying at times. I hope that you're having a good day. I hope that you continue to have a good day and I will see you next time.